Guys, are you writing? Are you writing, my dear students? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Please, please. Uh, please. Yes, sir. Yeah, please. Once you completed, please respond if you want. Sir, can you please scroll, sir? Uh, only these four steps, ma'am. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Done, everyone. Remaining people done. Yes, no, okay. Done, sir. Done. So, everyone, concentrated, everyone. Before going to start parallel accounting, you people want to understand one thing, everyone. You people want to understand one thing. So, my dear students, concentrated, everyone. For example, for example, everyone. If you post any accounting entry, if you post any accounting entry, how many currencies should be reflected? How many currencies should be reflected on that accounting entry? For example, for example, I can post one accounting entry. Guys, before going to parallel accounting, let's concentrate here. I can post one accounting entry. Accounting entry is called rent account data to cash. So we are paying the rent now. We are paying the rent to somebody. Example, 10,000 and 10,000. So this accounting entry, this accounting entry, Reflected on how many currencies? Reflected on how many currencies? So, my dear students, this currency will reflected on three currencies, everyone. Three currencies. One is local currency. One is local currency. And one is document currency document currency and one is group currency one is group currency some more eight more currencies also will reflect it i will explain later not now i will explain later in s4 apart from these three currencies eight more currencies should be reflected that things will come later not required now now initially you can understand three currencies. One is document currency, group currency, and local currency. Everyone, concentrate here. Listen carefully. Listen careful. What is meant by local currency? Listen, listen everyone. Listen, listen careful. Concentrate here everyone. What is meant by local currency? Local currency means during the company code creation, during the company code creation, whatever currency you maintain, that currency is called local currency. For example, my company located in Singapore. What is my company code currency? Everyone tell me. SGD. SGD. My, com my company, example, uh, RM Steels Private Limited, my company code, located in Europe. What is my local currency? Europe. Europe currency. E Euro currency. Example, my company code, example, R I mean, RM Steels Private Limited, located in India. So, what is my local currency? INR. INR. INR, everyone. So, this is depend upon the location your company or your company code belongs to which country 
for example my rm steels private limited located in india so my local currency is called ina i am repeating once again everyone i am repeating once again during the company code creation during the company code creation whatever currency you maintain that currency is called local currency that currency is called local currency yeah. and what is meant by document currency what is meant by document currency during the accounting entry posting or during the invoice or payment document entry posting for example for example for example i can sales i can sales to america for example my local company in india i am doing the sales to american see i specified anyone usd usd i can sales to within india which currency i know i can sales otherwise i can purchase from singapore which currency SGD. SGD. I can purchase within India, INR. So based on the transaction, based on the transaction. So during the document entry posting or during the accounting entry posting, whatever currency you specified, that currency is called document currency. That currency is called document currency. And what is meant by group currency? For example, everyone, for example, my head office, my company head office located in US. What is my group currency? USD. USD. So my head office in uh, Singapore, group currency is SGD. My head office, all the director, chairman, every all the people sitting in there. So they can view their currencies. They can view the reports in their currencies. They can view the reports in their currencies, group currency. So group currency. So my dear students, where we will maintain the uh, group currency means uh, in your head office, all the higher authority team sitting in which country that country currency is called group currency for example my head office located in india inr is group currency my head office located in singapore sgd is my group currency my head office sitting in uh, usa usd is the group currency why because that higher authority people they can view the report in their currencies Okay, for example, so where we will maintain the local currency, local currency we will maintain during the company code creation, where we will maintain the document currency based on the transaction, based on the transaction during the accounting entry posting, which currency you are going to select, which currency you are going to select, that currency is called that currency is called document currency. For example, based on your purchase from which country, sales to which country, blah, 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 so it. And what is meant by group currency? Based on your head office, head of the department, sitting in which country. So they are going to generate the report. They can view the report in their currency. So where we will maintain the group currency? Group currency we are going to maintain in SCC4, this is the T code everyone, where, where we will maintain the group currency, T code is called SCC4 everyone, T code is called SCC4, okay, so how you can maintain, how you can maintain, so during the company code creation, we already maintain this currency. During the accounting entry posting, we can show, uh, I will show you after some classes, 
during the accounting entry posting, how you are going to select the currency. Now my target is how to maintain group currency. My dear students, eight more currencies will come everyone. In the S4 HANA, additionally, some more currencies is there. I will tell you later. It will come later during the workshop we will discuss. Okay. Now you can understand this. Are you following my dear students? Yes, no? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so, my dear students, how to maintain group currency? So, what is the T code? T code is called SCC4. SCC4 everyone. SCC4. So this accounting entry, now you can imagine three currencies should be reflected. If you post any accounting entry, three currencies should be reflected. Local currency, comment currency, group currency, like that. So example, my head office in sitting in, my head office sitting in uh, America, so USD. I am doing the purchases from Singapore, SGD. My local currency is INR. Example, everyone. Example, example, everyone. Concentrate here. Concentrate here, my, my students. Example, my head office sitting in America. USD currency will reflect it. I am paying the rent to Singapore business area. Example, I am paying the rent to Singapore. So, SGD will reflect. My local currency is INR. My local currency is INR. So this accounting entry will reflect it in three currencies. Clear? Clear so far? Yes, no? Okay? Yes. Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now my target is how to maintain the group currency. Hare Krishna. One second, everyone. Sorry, everyone. I'm back, everyone. So how to maintain the group currency, everyone? So note it on one note, everyone. Note it on one note. Group currency is... Note it on one note. Group currency is... Group currency is... Group currency is hello? Morning. Class loan now, Malaysia. Malaysia. Prabhu Jainda. Okay. So group currency is at the client level. Group currency is at client level. Note it down clearly, everyone. If you maintain the group currency, if you maintain the group currency, it will be reflected all the company codes. It will be reflected the 
all the company codes. Sir, you want to ask one question. Sir, why this many currencies should be reflected? Why? Because for the reporting purpose, everyone. For the reporting purpose. Even you can generate the reports transaction-wise. You can generate the reports like group-wise. You can generate the reports company code-wise. For the reporting purpose, we can view the reports in different, different currencies. So like that, okay? Do you got my point, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Add on one point, everyone. To maintain the group currency, to maintain the group currency, T code is called to maintain the group currency, T code is called SCC4. So everyone, uh, after posting the accounting entry, I will show you how the value should be reflected, how the accounting entry should be reflected, how many currencies should be reflected. I will show you everyone, each and everything we are going to test it. Even how the active splitting, passive splitting, zero balance splitting, how the global parameters is updating, how the ledger should be reflecting, each and everything we are going to test. It is working fine or not. Don't worry about that. Okay. So anyone please read the note. Remaining people check it out. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah ma'am. Uh, note, group currency is at client level. If you maintain the group currency, it will be reflected in all the company codes. To maintain the group currency, T code is SCC4. SCC4. Yes, ma'am. So let's maintain the group currency, everyone. Before going to lectures, let's try to understand. Let's say P at nine. So everyone, concentrated, my dear students, listen careful, concentrated everyone. So how to maintain the group currency? T code is called go to SCC4. Go to SCC4 here. So what is your client, everyone? What is your client? Client is called uh, during the SAP opening. Where we will see the client? For example, if you double click on this, this is the client everyone this is the client 220 client here you can enter username and password username and password what is mean by client it will it will come everyone don't worry about that. even we are unable to maintain the client okay a basis and uh, technical people will take care anyway let's concentrate here so what is my client now 220 and go to scc1 and I'm repeating once again, everyone, concentrate here. Go to SCC4, enter. And what is my client? My client is 220. Here, here, everyone, here. Currency here. Whatever currency you maintain here, that currency is called group currency. For example, my head office located in India. INR is my group, group currency. My company head office located in US, like uh, USD is my group currency. My head office located in any other country. That country currency is called group currency. Sir, how to change this? How to change in case if you want. For example, select your client, respective client, whatever client you want, and click on your edit. Yes. And now you can editable mode. So example, my client located in America, so I can change USD. So it will reflect it for all company codes, whoever using in this server, okay? Whoever using in this client, click on your save. 
here, click on your say USD. Then one step back. And where we will maintain the local currency. During the company code creation, whatever currency you maintain, that is called local currency. Where you will maintain document currency. During the accounting entry posting, whatever currency you selected, that is called document currency. Where you will maintain the group currency. On the T code SCC4, T code is called SCC4, whatever currency you maintain, that is called group currency. Everyone, listen careful. I will ask one question. I will ask one question. Here, here everyone, what is meant by IAS? IAS means, IAS anyone? Tell me what is the full form of IAS? Indian Administrative Service. Indian? Accounting Standards, sir. Indian Accounting Standards. Very good. What is meant by IFRS? IFRS? Regulatory. Don't know exactly. Anyone? Any others? International Financial Reporting Standards. International Reporting Financial Reporting Standards. Standards. And, and what is meant by US GAAP? Example, US GAAP. US GAAP. GAAP means, US. what is the GAAP? Generally, I don't know. Gen generally accepted accounting principles. Accounting principle. Very good, everyone. Maybe US gap, Europe gap, whatever. Everyone, concentrated, everyone. Listen careful. Listen careful, everyone. Listen careful. Concentrated, everyone. Now, I am explaining parallel accounting, everyone. I am explaining parallel accounting. Listen, catch the point here. Catch the point here. What is my company? My company is RM Steels Private Limited. My company will doing the business only in India. My company is belongs to in India. I am doing the business only in India. I will not do the business other than India. That time Parallel accounting configuration is not required. You will not require US IFRS reports. You will not require US GAAP report. You will not require any Europe GAAP reports. Whatever reports you want, you will not require. For example, your company located in India. You are doing the business only in India. That time, parallel accounting configuration is not required. No, sir. My company located in India. But I am doing the business other than India also. Other than India also. For example, my company located in America. I am doing the business within America other than America also. My company located in Europe. I will do the business within Europe other than Europe also. That time, that time, parallel accounting configuration is required. Then what is the use of parallel accounting? So my dear students, my dear students, here you people, if you do the business within the country, then other than country also. <laughs> that time, you people want to generate the reports in different, different dimensions. For example, I, I, my company in IAS, for example, my company located in India. So I want to generate the reports, IAS, Indian Accounting Standards. So I want to generate the reports, IFRS, International Financial, I mean, reports, standards, International Financial Report Standards, like that, whatever, IFRS reports. I want to generate the report, US GAAP report or Europe GAAP report or any other GAAP report based on your head office located like that. So, for example, your company located in India, you are called as a IAS. Your company code located in USA, you called as UAS, American Accounting Standards, Singapore Accounting Standards, whatever. Everyone, I'm repeating one second, everyone. I'm repeating one second. 
for example, I'm repeating once again, catch the point here. My company, my or my company code, RM Steels Private Limited, located in India. I am doing the business within India. I don't want to go other than India. Then that time parallel accounting configuration are not required. No, sir. My company, uh, my company code, my company code, RM Steels Private Limited will do the business within India, then other than India also. That time you people want to generate the reports in global level, local reports and global reports also. That time, if you do the business within country and other than country also, then and you want to generate the reports in global level. In this case, you have to require to configure, you have to require to configure parallel accounting. Parallel accounting. So here, everyone, if you do the parallel accounting configuration, if you do the parallel accounting configuration, every accounting entry Every accounting entry will reflected three ledgers. One is IAS, one is IFRS, and one is US GAAP. US GAAP. Every accounting entry will going to reflected this many ledgers. We are called as a ledger, not for general ledger. General ledger means rent account, cash account, commission, paid account, land account. That is called general ledgers. And this is we are called as a ledger for the reporting purpose. For every accounting entry will reflected these ledgers. Every accounting entry reflected in this ledger. Every accounting entry reflected this ledger. Are you clear everyone? Understood? Yes, no? Are you following? Yes, sir. So, my dear students, my dear students, concentrate here. My dear students, concentrate here. Now, in S4 HANA, other way, S4 HANA, in S4 HANA, so this is called standard, everyone. This is called standard. We are called as a 0L is a standard. 0L is a standard. So this is called standard ledger or leading ledger. We are called as a leading ledger. We are called as a leading ledger. Your company, your company located in uh, India, it will be, behave like a IAS. Your company located in America, it, company means company code, RM Steels Private Limited like that. Your company located in America, it will behave like a US, UAS. I mean, I mean US accounting standards. Your company located in U, uh, Singapore, it will behave like a SAS, Singapore accounting standards. So 0L is a standard. 0L is the standard. Then these two things is the optional everyone. If you do the business, one country to another country that time you want to require this otherwise it will not require for example here i can create one is for uh, r8 and one is for r9 what is this so here we are called as a extension ledgers here we are called as a extension ledgers so here, one is called leading ledger, leading ledger, and one is called extension ledger. In S4 HANA, we have one more ledger. Ledger is called non-leading ledger. Non-leading ledger. So in S4 HANA, we have leading ledger, extension ledger, and non-leading ledger. In ECC, in ECC, ECC old server, we have only leading ledger and extension ledger, no, no extension ledger. 
here non leading lecture yes in ecc we have only leading lecture and non leading lecture leading lecture and non leading lecture for example these concepts we will tell you later now try to understand now try to understand uh, these things we'll tell later first try to understand leading ledger 0l extension ledger i can create r8 set up here any two digit for ifrs set up here two digit for us gap us gap europe gap whatever gap you want so what you people want to understand here if you post any accounting entry here three ledgers should be reflected is it will be reflected on 0l for uh, indian reports it will be reflected on set up here any two digit r8 for uh, ifrs r9 for us gap r9 for us gap so how to create this how to create this i will tell you now all the configuration we have to do this okay why why this for the reporting purpose so we want to generate the reports in indian accounting standards we want to generate the report ifrs we want to generate the report us gap okay like that even if you post any accounting entry there is a two views everyone there is a two views one is entry view one is entry view and one is gl view general ledger view gl view how many views you have if you post any accounting entry there is an a two views entry view and general ledger view entry view and general ledger so what is mean by entry view and what is mean by gl view general ledger view i will explain during the accounting entry posting so if you post any accounting entry three currencies should be reflected and eight more currencies also will come uh, that concept i will tell you later if i tell now you people will go into confuse and if you post any accounting entry three more ledgers should be reflected ias ifrs and us gap and if you post any accounting entry two views two dimensions two views one is entry view and one is general ledger view are you following everyone yes no yes sir can you please note it down this everyone then uh, noted everyone yes no please
डन सर यस सर यस सो नाउ आवर टारगेट इज नाउ आवर टारगेट इज हाउ टू एनालाइज दिस लीडिंग लेक्चर हाउ टू एनालाइज इन लीडिंग लेक्चर देन हाउ टू क्रिएट दिस एक्सटेंशन लेक्चर ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल एवरी वन वन मोर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑल्सो देर नॉन लीडिंग लेक्चर इन एस फोर हना वो हैव लीडिंग लेक्चर एक्सटेंशन लेक्चर एंड नॉन लीडिंग लेक्चर इन ई सी सी वो हैव ओनली लीडिंग एंड नॉन लीडिंग लेक्चर देन डेफिनेशन एंड ऑल इट विल कम लेटर एवरी वन इफ आई टेल नाउ यू पीपल टोटली कंफ्यूज ओके लेट्स फॉलो माई प्रोसेस एवरी वन ओके एंड क्लियर क्लियर एवरी वन following yes no questions questions please go ahead questions before going to the configuration please ask the questions any questions no questions can i continue configuration yes sir sir that one yes, uh, you know what we call uh, the standard legit zero l is there na few hmm. people are calling that is a zero l but few people are calling that as ol Uh, can we call it as O zero L only? Zero L is the correct answer. See some uh, uh, like uh, uh, what we call zero look like some egg like that. Uh -huh. How uh, and uh, O look like uh, what we call like a round figure. Both are same. <laughs> zero L. call it as a zero L, not for O L. It's a wrong one. Okay. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. 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 For example, zero uh, L means uh, O L means look like like this. This is O L and this is a zero L. See, some people is going to confuse actually. This is the O and this is the zero. Okay, clear. Okay. So first one, let's analyze the zero L, everyone. First, analyze zero L and create your ones. Concentrate, everyone. Lot of people, lot of people is going to confuse in this configuration. Be careful, everyone. Listen careful. Okay. Even during the accounting entry posting, we want to test lot many things, everyone. We want to analyze lot many things, like document splitting things, this uh, parallel accounting things. Even we need to analyze global parameters things. So lot of things we have to analyze. I will show you each and everything. during the testing testing means document entry posting like that reports and all so first one ledgers let's analyze zero l leading ledger let's create extension ledger how to create that okay my dear students what is the path this is the path everyone spro financial accounting aslam joined aslam aslam are you there Islam is not there today. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, yes. Are you, are you following? Following? Okay. Uh, Sai Kumar joined. Sai. Ah, uh, good, good, good. Sai Kumar, are you there? Sai, Sai Kumar. Sai Kumar is not there. Huh? 